Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. If you don't even start yet, y'all the village ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Shoot your shot. Left him at the altar and want him back. Let's get into it, y'all. I, can, I cannot wait. I don't know what this is about to be about. It's only it's only going to be... <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be something good. Somebody got left at the altar. So the guy, the groom, got left at the altar. And I'm assuming the bride is calling in. You look like a radio show. Miguel and Holly. Um, Looks like some type of a radio show or a podcast or something. Let, let, let's get into it, y'all. So long story short, uh, I was a runaway bride, essentially. <gasps> Oh, um, <laughs> you left him at the altar? Yeah. Well, my friend Carrie, she was like a, like a permanent third wheel. Like, she would always hang out with us. She was like the, our plus one when we went to a fit. Okay. And um, so, like, the night before my wedding, she, she like, sat me down. She's like, I can't, let you, I can't let you walk down the aisle. And I was like, why? And she was like, he's been cheating on you. And I was like, what? Oh. And I started crying. And it was like this whole thing. And I was like, how could this happen? Like, why did you tell me before? So I, I called my mom and she was like, you got to get out of there. Like, um, she got me a plane ticket right away and I left him there. Oh, oh so the gosh. next morning, everybody's getting everything ready for the wedding. And Aubrey there. is nowhere to be seen. So, and this was all in the Tampa area. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Wow. And now you're here yeah, in Charlotte. And and how how long has it been, by the way, since all this happened? Twelve years. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so you want to shoot your shot with the man that you left at the altar? Well, it turns out Carrie actually wanted to be with Patrick. <gasps> Wait, so she and lied to you? Yeah. About that? Yeah. Oh yep. What kind of drama are you living in? This is insane. Wow. All right, Patrick, the person that wants to shoot their oh, shot on, with hold you. Hold on, hold on, so, hold on, hold on. So she got the groom on the phone. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies, why y'all be... <laughs> Ladies, why y'all why y'all do stuff like this, man? I, you know, I... Let's keep on. All right, Patrick, the person that wants to shoot their shot with you will do so now. Hi, Patrick. Okay. This, um, th how are you? I um, haven't talked to you in a very long time, and I know that I left you on the altar. Hey, Audrey? Yeah? Oh, my God. Wow. I, I cannot believe this is happening. I mean, I haven't talked to you in over like 10 years, <laughs> 12. And, um, I mean, you, you, you literally broke my heart. I know. Like, I mean, how, how I was mortified. I was literally mortified. I'm standing in front of all my family and friends by myself, staring at nobody. And I know. But, it was literally the most mortifying thing I've ever experienced in my, in my life. Yeah, I love you. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I mean you know, like no warning, nothing. I mean, if you were if, if you were unsure of getting married to me for any reason, I you wasn't, should call me. I we wasn't. shouldn't talk about it. Carrie told me you that left. you were cheating on me. Okay, well that's not true. Um, I don't know why she would say that. I, I mean. I have, I, I, I don't, but even if you should have spoken to me, like, regardless, I mean, my heart was literally broken. I mean, I, you have long, I'm still not rebounded. I, I, I gave you my heart on my sleeve and you ripped it and you, you teared it apart. And now my trust issue, I have trust issues now with anyone I, for the last 12 years. I've been, I've been trying so hard to move on and you literally, literally, destroyed me literally with no call i mean i this is the first time i'm hearing from you in 12 years do you want to
Let me let me let me say this because I you know and, and, and I don't they, 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 these people I don't know why, why they doing these stupid ass facial expressions they they they, they killing me the most. But my, my whole thing about it is this, man. It's been 12 years, bro, 12 years. I would imagine you were, you know, getting over it, however you see fit, whether it's with therapy, whether it's with friends, or whether it's with another woman. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, this is his first time hearing from her in damn 10 years, 12 years, whatever years. Um, I can only imagine the flashbacks coming, the feelings, and all the other things. Right now, he's venting. Yo, what this happened. And that happened, and you did this, and you did that, and this happened. Blah 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 blah. Get it on out, bro. Get it all out. I get it. I get it. And for Carrie to sit up there and and tell you these types of lies, for you to believe it, just like the 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 man said, yo, you should have came to talk to me. But the issue is, fellas, that a lot of things that that y'all supposed to understand. The issue is with situations like this, fellas, is this, um. Their homegirls always will, whatever comes out their homegirl mouth, will always hold more weight than anything that you say. And that's the issue here. It should not be that way, but that's just the way it is with women. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. If I've said this before, if you are dating a woman and you got your girl pregnant, if your girl, homegirls, tell her to get rid of the baby and you say, hey, I want to keep it, nine times out of ten, she's going to listen to her homegirls and get rid of the baby. Same story, switch the, switch the scenario. If you get her pregnant and she says, and her homegirls tell you to keep the baby, and you say, yo, I can't have this baby, don't have don't keep the baby because of AB73, she's going to keep the baby. What her homegirl says had, holds more weight. So if her homegirls tell, come to her, your girl, and tell her, hey, I could have swore I saw your man at such and such mall with another damn woman, she's going to believe her. She's going to believe her friends, her homegirls. Because you know why? You know what she's going to say, fellas? You know, y'all know what your girl going to say? Well, why would she lie about that? Why would Carrie lie about that? That's what she's going to say. That's what she's going to say. Let's keep going. Cause this, I mean, I, I just, it, it, it pisses me off, man, because it's like, bro, we've all been through situations like this, maybe not exactly like this, like being left at an, at, at an altar, but something similar. All because of her homegirl being jealous of, 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 of her and her not seeing that her friend, her so-called friend, is jealous of her. Dan, I'm, yeah. I've not spoken to you in 12 years. You just literally vanished. Okay, hold Who on. Who does that? Okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to step in real quick here. So we knew this was going to be very complicated and this was not going to be easy. And obviously right now, Patrick, you are hurt. And you are understandably so. Literally, Holly's in tears over here right now. Um, before we continue with anything else, because obviously this isn't going to be the connection we thought it would be, you need to process your emotions because now it's digging everything up. Patrick, would you want us to give uh, Aubrey your number so you two can talk when you feel comfortable? No. I mean, like she was the, my the girl in my <laughs> in my dreams. Um, yeah, I mean, if she wants to like talk to me, it's fine. It's just I just I've not spoken to her in like twelve years. No, nah, bro, don't, don't, don't. There's no, there's no talking. This, this should have been spoken about after all this was said and done. Hell, a couple weeks, couple months. Hell, I'll even give you three years after it happened. Twelve. Why all of a sudden now she wants to try to come back? Why? Because she hit the wall. Her options are not no are no longer unlimited anymore. And it's like it's so. I mean, I um, if you want, if we can definitely take you know if everything very slowly. I'm very very pr protective of my feelings now, my heart. So, I mean, I you you yeah you I I, I will if you want like you don't have to answer now. You don't have to answer now. You do not have to answer now. I I, I would even say you don't got you ain't got to answer at all. I'm I'm kind of disappointed in, in in this guy's answer, man. If I'm being brutally honest, I'm 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 disappointed in this man's answer. Um, if a woman left me at an altar, man, um, I'm out the door. There there is no there is no coming back in situations like that. I'm out the door. I'm I'm not and I'm not looking back. Three years, six years, 12 years, 30 years, I don't give a damn. 
why does she now want to come back now after 12 years? 12 years is a long ass time. 12 years, 12 years ago, I was I was out of high school for about a year. Yeah, I was 12 years ago, I was just out of high school. About a year, about a year, yeah. That's a long, that's a long time. To transition from that, from me being out of high school for about a year to now 12 years later. Man, maybe I think differently, man. I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Please, man, we say for a cuz.